Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to part 17 of my City Living LP here on The Sims 4. So, in the last episode, Vincent decided to head out uh, to go and stay at the motel because Penny actually found the remains of the bodies in that hidden room in the house, the one that's always locked and Vincent always has access to. Now, if you haven't seen the last couple of episodes, quite a lot has been going on, especially this week in terms of videos um, in the LP actually. So, uh, Vincent, like I said, went out to just escape for a little bit it, um, and he's came back. He actually stayed out for a little bit longer. He was actually away for two days because um, he, he just you just felt a little bit awkward about everything that's been happening with Penny, um, and he didn't actually tell Penny, and she hasn't really contacted him, so he didn't really think much of it. He just kind of passed his mind, really. Um, and he's came back to the house and all the lights are off, which is a little bit unusual. And Penny normally works from home, and she actually just isn't here. Now, as you can see in the bottom bit here, she just isn't in the household anymore. Uh, Vincent's just really confused, like, what on earth has happened? Like, it's just, she's just gone. All of her stuff is gone. And, you know, he just he doesn't really have any idea what's happened. Oh, my God, the thing's broken here. I was like, what on earth is that noise? Um, So, he's just really confused about why she's gone. Luckily, he did take the stuff out. That's not her that took it out. But, you know, he's just like, where on earth has she gone? But... Um, she's actually decided to leave because she just doesn't feel safe around uh, Vincent. She kind of came to the realization about what actually this room was to start with. When she, you know, confronted um, Vincent about it, she didn't really think much of it. It kind of just passed her mind, and they both agreed not to say anything because you know Vincent could go and say stuff about Penny, and Penny could say stuff about Vincent. So they both agreed just to be quiet about it. But Penny, well, Penny hasn't. At least I don't think has said anything about it. But she has left. Um, she just didn't really feel safe, like I said, around Vincent, and she's gone now. Remember, Penny was homeless, so I don't know where on earth she's gone, but I think we should go and have a little look. Okay, so we're here back in Oasis Springs, and here is Penny's new trailer. Now, um, as you've been, like I've said, she was actually homeless, and that's why she moved in with Vincent. Um, she was kind of a little bit desperate, but she did actually like Vincent, so that was it worked out well that way. And Vincent kind of felt sorry for her, so she did actually move in with him, because uh, Vincent agreed to. But she managed, like she didn't have any money, no home, barely any friends, and now she's living in this place. Now... It was on the market and it was at a very, very low price. Nobody was wanting to buy it. Uh, maybe it was Black Friday deal. Um, but no, nobody wanted to buy it. But um, she managed to get a couple of coins together and get, you know, just scrape some money together and put it to get this house. Now, she isn't happy with it, um, as you'll be able to see in just a second here, but it is the best that you can get. She's just like thinking to herself what on earth has happened to my life as you can see she's not got any jewelry on she doesn't have any makeup on she doesn't have any of her nice clothes anymore she's just lost everything now this is totally unlike penny because if you remember like she just she's on billboards all over San Maishino and she was having a really good life a really good job and everything and now she's living in this dump and like she's just thinking to herself what on earth has happened to my life from within just a couple of weeks she's went from having everything to absolutely nothing and she's just in total shock and she just doesn't know what to do anymore so um, she is working from home today because she just couldn't face work um she did just couldn't even imagine what people at work would be seeing if they found out about what sort of stage she's in and she agreed to Vincent that she would keep the secret secret and I don't know how she's going to be able to because through Vincent she's kind of made her life has just became a mess through Vincent really so you know she's a little bit angry about that deep down but you know they've like they said that they've agreed to it but you know she could easily break that promise anyway she is in um you know, she doesn't have a computer to do her daily task or do her work from home or anything. So we're going to have to get her to go out and uh, go to the library to do it because, um, you know, she doesn't she doesn't know what to do. But at the same time, she can't really go out to public places because somebody might see her in these type of clothes and things. And it will just look totally suspicious about why she's wearing this sort of stuff. So I'm going to go and try and find a library. A new Quest would be a good place because it's kind of a little bit undeveloped. So people don't really know a whole lot about it. And she wouldn't really find anybody that she knows around there. So that would be a good place for her to go. I don't think there is a library in Oasis Springs. But if there is, I'll go there. Um, Let's see. There is this library here, but it isn't actually a proper library. So I'm not going to go there. Um, Anywhere else I can see hmm looks like we're gonna to have to go to willow creek which wasn't the best ideal place but that's what we have to do so we're gonna to go to the willow creek archive and we're just gonna go there alone and um, i'll meet you once we're there 
Okay, so we're out here at the library, and as you can see, she's just totally depressed. She's wearing these clothes, which I never really thought she would be in a state like this before. She had a lot of money before, and now she's just in a total mess. So I'm going to get her to go ahead and do some work, because she doesn't want, you know, if she just, well, if she didn't do any work, then of course her work colleagues and her boss will get a little bit suspicious. So, you know, she's going to have to do something here. Um, She needs to go and do a live stream, which is, uh, oh my god. I don't know how she can be able to do this because she just doesn't want to face anyone at the minute. But like I said, she's going to have to. Um, I don't know where we we'll find this bit. Where? What am I looking for again? Let's play or live stream or something. So broadcast. Um, hmm. It must be under the game section then, I suppose. Let's go and check that then. Play game and oh, there we go. <laughs> so what do, is a specific game? No, let's just play Sims Forever. I'm going to do that and get it to work on that a little bit. So, um, she is, uh, she's decided to text Vincent um, because, you know, she's in, well, she's feeling a little bit happy now because she is doing something that she likes to do. She is pretty high up in her career and, you know, she really enjoys her job. So, you know, it is putting it in a little bit of a more happy place, being able to to do something for her job. But at the same time, she wants to be back with Vincent. She just feels like she made, she's made a massive mistake. And um, I, I don't know, I think she just needs to text Vincent and just give him a little bit of an update about what's been happening because, you know, he is getting a little Bit, a little bit suspicious himself so I'm just gonna send him a text saying that um, I hope you're okay I had to leave and you know she left uh, Vincent didn't actually see but she actually left a note to uh, Vincent saying why she's left um, which you know I'm hoping that Vincent understands uh, but Vincent hasn't seen that yet so you know she's just she's just reminding him to look at the note um, anyway I'm gonna get her to finish off this I hope we are doing the right thing it doesn't seem to be going up at all um, I don't know, let's have a little look here. So she is gaining some more social networking followers, which is great. So, oh, so when she's doing live streams, her following is going up pretty fast, actually. Uh, but for some reason, the stream played for four hours isn't changing. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, so as you can see, her life is just an absolute mess. Um, I'm going to get her to try and finish up this as much as we can. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to get it all done today, but I'm just going to go for a little while longer, and then we're going to have to head home because... You know, she's in a very public place. It is, like, kind of late in the day now. So a lot of people are going to be here. And she just can't face uh, facing these people. So I'm actually just going to get her to head home now. Because it's just really hard for her to be around here. So she actually gained 700,000 followers. Wow. Um, okay, that was a lot. Um, she didn't really expect to get that much. Hopefully none of these followers actually know her. Because they can maybe find out some more information about this storyline. And what's happening with her at the minute. Oh my god, what on earth is happening to Penny? She's just in a total mess, isn't she? Okay, so Penny has returned home and she is just busy making herself a little bit of dinner. As can she, as soon as she, oh my god, I can't speak. As soon as she came back here, yeah, she was just in a bad mood and, oh my god. Okay, so James is at the door. Um, I'm going to get Penny to stop and just come and say hello because this is a little bit of a surprise. I don't know how, you know, he knows that she lives here, but he does. So I'm going to get them to just come and talk a little bit. Um, I didn't want him to come inside, but okay. Um, so, you know, she's just saying hello and things like that. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. I think, I, oh, okay. I thought I clicked on something wrong there. Anyway, um, oh, wait, they didn't just break up, did they? No, cause, well, they weren't in a relationship, but I thought they just did something that was a little bit mean. Anyway, so I'm going to get them to come here and ask about day so i wonder what it is that james has actually done it's a little bit like random uh but penny asked him to do something and he's done it and he's just came back to tell her that that thing has been done now i don't know what that thing is and you're gonna have to wait until the next episode to see what that thing is and everything will be able to come clear then so leave some comments down below about what you think this thing that he's done is i would love to hear what you think and see if you get it right and you'll be able to see in the next episode if that was right or not uh make sure you use the hashtag ttvcl on the gallery to submit sims and lots for this lp make sure to leave a like share and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you all next time bye